Our CES 2020 coverage is made possible thanks to EK, MSI, Thermaltake, Patriot, Lian Li, XPG, ViewSonic Elite, ECS Elite Group, and Creative. Hey everyone, Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com. Now, while we're at CES 2020, we stopped by ECS Elite Group, formerly known, I guess, for making their motherboards, but they have actually had a range of mini PCs out for quite some time, and they're really trying to sort of extend beyond that and seeing what they can do to improve it and add extra functionality. So to start with, they had the Z3 and the Z3 Plus. So these are, I guess, their latest range of mini PCs, but with some pretty damn powerful features. To start with, they do have Intel 10th Gen CPUs in there, as well as 802.11 AX Wi-Fi, meaning that pretty much you could put it anywhere in the world, whether it be a home office, whether it be an office space, whether you even wanted to do some kind of game streaming on it and things like that, the possibilities really are endless. And they do allow you to actually spec it up to your own personal needs, which is really, really cool. Now, what they actually had is one of the systems with a four microphone array. This means that you can use it uh, as a built-in Alexa voice command, which is, in my opinion, seriously, seriously cool. Now, it also means that it can come with options such as CEC, LTE, MSIM, multi-display, dual LAN, and much, much more. Like I say, you could basically take this mini box and just spec it up to exactly what your needs are. Probably more aimed at um, sort of, you know, students and stores, POS, all that kind of stuff. But it's definitely um, sort of the start of where it could extend to in terms of even turning it into a fully fledged gaming system if you added things like Thunderbolt and then had an eGPU at the side. Seriously cool stuff, I'm sure you agree. Now, if you wanted to go even smaller than the Z3 and the Z3 Plus, then what you have is the Q1L and the Q1D. Now, these actually take a small PC really onto the next level. Yes, it's not as small as a Raspberry Pi, but it packs so much more in terms of functionality, performance, and features. So what we actually have is the ability to put options in there like an Intel Pentium or a Celeron, N3350, 3450, N4200, as well as having DDR4 two and four gig options. While these aren't gonna be kind of aimed at high performance, they're gonna be perfect again for students, people on the go, even just strapping it to the back of your monitor and having a fully fledged system inside a very, very small form factor. Let me know what you think, guys. Which one would you go for? Would you go for the Q1L or the Q1D in a variety of different colors with a variety of different options? Or would you prefer going maybe something a little bit bigger, like the Q1L, the Q1D, and like I say, if you wanted to use it for gaming or rendering or things like that, you could easily just add in the option for um, sort of type C and have the ability to uh, go to a, a separate display, or you could have the option of adding Thunderbolt or dual LAN. Really the possibilities are endless. And I'm just hoping that I guess as things go further on from this, what they're actually going to be able to do is kind of cram in even more performance and we could in theory in maybe a few years time, see a fully fledged gaming system in something that is well, about the size of a hamburger. Should be interesting, no? Let me know what you guys think and uh, you know exactly what to do and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.